So Dr. Totley, is it ever okay to mix Winstrol and Anavar together? So Anavar and Winstrol are both DHT derivatives that are 17 methylated, although have a modification that prevents them from being broken down once they enter the muscle cell. I, that there is a azide ring that surrounds the carbon-3 ketone in Winstrol, and there is a substitution of the carbon to position 2 of Anavar for an oxygen. That between these two drugs, I think that they're Anavar is fucking amazing, probably the best oral steroid, probably one of the best DHTs, and I don't see a great benefit to um, Winstrol. It's reputed to have a special benefit of preventing cortisol from being released from the adrenal gland. So you have to ask yourself, if they're almost identical, why would you mix them? So if the rumor is true that Winstrol has the ability to prevent cortisol from being released by the adrenal gland, then in theory, that would make sense to stack that with Anavar. What makes Anavar special? Anavar is special because it's healthier and less toxic than the other drugs. And it is supposedly, it can spike in your concentration when you take it sublingually more so than anything else. So if under what circumstance would someone want to be on both? One may be cutting. So they'd want to prevent glucocorticoid catabolism of muscle tissue in the calorie deficit during training. It would make sense that this individual would be taking Winstrol around the clock with a nine hour half-life. That means you're taking it probably twice, um, probably first thing when they wake up on an empty stomach before they do facet cardio, and then probably again before they train. And then with Anavar, why would you stack that? The only rational explanation to stack that would be if you're taking it sublingually, to get an increase in ag aggression and power pre-training. So in this individual who's a cutting, hopefully a male bodybuilder, they're taking Winstrol in the morning orally, swallowing it, and then they are doing their cardio. And then later in the day, they're taking their Winstrol at a different time of day, probably nine hours later. And irrespective of when you take your Winstrol, they're taking Anavar sublingually, that means under the tongue, before they lift weights. And the idea is that the Anavar spikes, peaks, and clears out of your system during your training. That so much of it floods your bloodstream while you're training. All of it gets driven into the muscle tissue you're training that day, give, or your brain, giving you a neural drive and giving your muscle, uh, neuromuscular complex, better contractility and also going into the muscle cells. Now, both of them being DHT have all the normal properties of DHT, which I won't get into, but that's the only time I would ever see someone mixing Winstrol with Anavar. Now, if it's a situation like, well, Winstrol is injectable and Anavar is oral, that's why I'm mixing them. The wiser choice would be using Masteron instead of Winstrol for the injection, unless there's a special ability of Winstrol they're trying to capture that Masteron doesn't do.